storytelling. The greatest salespeople in the world, the greatest leaders in the world, the greatest executives in the world, they are the best storyteller. You, you see what I'm teaching you? Everything that I'm giving back to you, I'm giving you a story. <laughs> if you really notice, he asked me this, story. She asked me this, story. Because people are interested listening to true story. Now, some of you might say, well, I don't have those story right now. No problem. Borrow other people's story. That's why you go watch a movie. Hey, did you watch this movie called Grand Terrorism? Did you read this book uh, about Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich? Do you know what Napoleon Hill say in this book? Ba, 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 ba. You're borrowing other people's story. Napoleon Hill is great at it. I'm sure you read that book, yeah. Think and Grow Rich. When Napoleon Hill wrote this book, uh, he was not a millionaire. He just borrowed every successful people's story put inside one book. Then the guy sold millions of copies, and then he became a millionaire. So you have to learn how to become a reporter of success at the beginning, a reporter of other people's success. So that's why reading is very important, right? Because you can borrow here, oh, boom, I read this book, that's a great story. Let me borrow that story run for my training when I'm, when I'm going out there and doing a presentation. You know what, that story that I watch a movie on, great story, let me write it out, that's a great story. You have 10 different stories, right? let's just say for this six months, and you add another 10 stories the next six months, you have a lot of stories, guess what? Two years down the road, you start to make big money. Now you have experience, because this whole two years, you, you, have your own you, you have your own failures. You encounter a lot of challenges that was not favoring you, but you overcame it. Now after two years, when you get to this kind of level of income, now you have your own stories, but you still borrow stories. Then one day you get to a level that you no longer need to borrow a lot of stories because you have a lot of stories of your own. That's the level you want to get to is 90% of your own true stories one day and you borrow still 10% of other people's stories. You made it now. Because people want to hear real stories. They don't want to hear makeup stories. Do you understand the difference? There's a lot of leaders that I work with in, 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 in different industry. You know they make up the story. It's not true. Because one day they say one thing, then you catch them six months down the road, you ask them the same, same question, they give you another story, you know they're lying. You know what I'm saying? You know, imagine if you're asking me about ter Grand Terrorismo, I, I never watched that movie. <laughs> imagine that. I'm okay, what <laughs> resonates with me? Uh, I don't remember. Then you caught me lying, am I right? So, so, so that's what I'm saying, you know? I mean, I actually watched the movie, so I borrowed the guy's story and did that story on my Q&A, right? So that's my answer. Become a great reporter of success and then start to build up your own success. Then one day you have two of this engine going, reporter of other people's success and you, your own build up success through experience and failures. Now you become a great leader. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.